Hi everybody, this is Lisa. I'm here with our first fun size film that is intended to give you a, kind of a general overview of the kinds of things that the course is going to cover. So as teachers, we spend a lot of time watching and thinking about our students. Uh, you know, our legal responsibilities, instruct, supervise, and provide for the safety of the students. All of those involve watching and thinking about the students. We also talk all the time about our kids to our friends, anybody who will listen. Um, and so this sort of watching and thinking and talking about our students and our experiences in our classrooms um, as teachers is a standard aspect of all teachers' experiences. But that talking and thinking and wondering and watching is not the same thing as assessment. Assessment involves watching and thinking and talking, but it is done with very different intention, very different purposes, and very different outcomes. The intention is to in increase our understanding of our students as learners. The purpose of that is to help our students be more effective and to help us be more successful as teachers. And the outcomes of assessment are typically documents or records that teachers can refer back to uh, as they're thinking about their students. So in short, my perspective is that assessment encompasses any deliberate, intentional, focused professional activity that is done by teachers to deepen their understanding of their students' learning and to increase their effectiveness. Sounds good, right? We assess kids' learning so that we can capture and document their behavior, their skills, um, their needs, and think about them, to, in, to interpret them, to share them, to discuss them sometimes with other teachers or with the students themselves, and to get our knowledge to a granular level that will enable us to personalize instruction to better meet the needs of the specific students in our classes. When I'm talking about data, I'm not particularly focused on standardized test data uh, or scores, things of that nature. Um, what I'm thinking about is information, relevant, useful information about kids' learning. And to be effective, elementary school teachers really have to think about their students as whole people. We don't just look at their academic development. We have to look at their social development, their emotional development, physical development, all of those things because those domains overlap and interact with each other and thinking about the student as a whole child makes it much easier for us to see the big picture and make better decisions. Assessment has many different purposes in addition to developing our knowledge of our students as learners. Teachers use assessment to determine whether or not the students are learning what we're teaching. And that gives us really important feedback uh, about our own practice and on how we can uh, ensure that the students are mastering the content standards for the grade level. There are lots of different kinds of assessment tools and lots of different ways to assess student learning. And I'm just going to quickly go through a bunch of examples to give you a sense of the kinds of things that you might uh, see and engage in. Sometimes assessment involves formal assessment tools. These are assessments that are made up by test development companies uh, and uh, are broadly field tested and standardized, and they're used from pre-K all the way up to graduate school. And what you see in this picture is uh, an example of two images from the TPRI, which is an early learning assessment, not unlike the Dibbles. Um, and this is to determine young kids' vocabulary knowledge. They're asked to look at that picture and say what the item is. 
These are informal teacher-developed assessment tools. The two that are pictured um, are looking at number and letter recognition. These are the kind of tools that a teacher would use for a kindergarten screening at the beginning of the school year to get a, a quick sense of what the kids know. Another example of an informal assessment tool is a spelling quiz. Uh, all of you who have had the opportunity to give a spelling quiz know that you just make up those sentences off the top of your head. So that's what I mean by informal. Another great source of information about students as learners is analysis of samples of their work. And this is a strategy that we'll be focusing on in our class because it is so versatile and flexible and can be used in so many different situations and at so many different grade levels. Often teachers make notes about behaviors or activities that they think are really typical of a student, such as fantasies, interest in playing with puzzles. At other times, teachers make anecdotal notes or take work samples, in this case, about things that surprise us. Uh, so fantasy uh, drew this picture of herself sitting on a pumpkin, and there are different colored leaves, but what the teacher who took this documentation marveled at was how clearly Fantasy wrote her name. And you can see here, F, E, N, there's an S, there's a T, there's something that is approaching a Y, and here she is uh, sitting on top of those pumpkins. This showed progress for Fantasy. It took the teacher by surprise because she did not know that Fantasy could do a picture with this level of detail. Teachers need to master lots of different tools and strategies for assessing student learning because no single tool can do everything and picking the right tool for the job is important. Also, if you are in a district that has mandated that particular assessments are used at particular times of the year, you will need to have other ways to document your students' capabilities as learners that will enable you to get the information that you need to be effective. So I would say assessment is time consuming, but it is well worth it because of the payoff it gives in terms of increasing your effectiveness. Assessment is best when it's positioned as an integral part of your teaching practice rather than an add-on, something that you do at the last minute or separate from teaching. Uh, assessment is definitely a way to become the best teacher possible, and it'll be your new best friend for the next 10 weeks at least. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in our first class session. And you don't even know who Marcus is yet. You'll see him later. Thanks, everybody. Bye.